Hello and welcome. If you're watching this video, it would be safe to say that you're going through a difficult time at the moment, arranging a funeral for a loved one. It's a very emotional time and my thoughts go out to you. But let me try and make this journey a little easier by helping you through the process of creating an order of service. My name's Robert. I run Panther Print. We've been producing funeral stationery for over 40 years. I'm going to show you a selection of example designs and walk you through the process of gathering the information that you'll need and then piecing everything together to make a beautiful tribute for your loved one. So let's get started. So here are some examples of layouts that we've produced in the past. The names and photos have all been edited to remove the identity of the original person, but you can see how they look and perhaps get some inspiration from the previous designs. Let's start by thinking about what defines our loved one. What was their character like? They may have been humble, reserved, or they might have been vibrant and colourful. Either way, we can develop this feeling in their design. Perhaps they had some interesting hobbies or an interest. For instance, if they loved horses, then maybe we could include pictures of their horse as part of the design or open fields of long grass. If they live for their football, we might want to include their team imagery or even use their team colours as a theme running through the order of service. You get the idea. Now let's gather up some nice photos of your loved one. Specifically try and find one really nice photo, uh, you know, for use on the front cover. It's really nice to have the face of your departed shining back out of the service book at you whilst you gather to celebrate the memory of their life. Next, let's think about the special requirements that might be required, such as a poem, a prayer, or a eulogy to be read by a family member, or a friend, or simply by the priest or celebrant. There's no pressure on you to speak, but some people like to offer a few words. These might be two pages long, so we need to make room for them in the order of service. Music is important too at a few, especially those songs favoured by your loved one. It can be nice to include the lyrics to these songs too, so that the congregation can share the story that the song tells, and maybe even quietly sing along. I think some tearjerker songs are okay at the start, but maybe try to finish on a more happy or inspiring song to set the mood for an uplifting feeling of joy at sharing your life with this lost person. Once you have gathered all of your information, you're ready to start planning out your order of service. Now, some of you might have access to a computer and feel that you want to create your own design, which is lovely. See the link below if you want to know how to do that. We'll go into more detail on designing it. However, most people prefer to leave the design to the experts, which means you have one less thing to worry about at this most difficult time. So now let's talk about timing. When people come to us for an order of service, they've usually got the funeral date in their diary already booked. So on this occasion, let's assume it's the 26th of February. So when do we start composing the order of service? Well, ideally, we'd be looking at the previous week. Uh, if you've got that time, some people have two weeks or longer. And that's the more time you can give us, the better, because it gives you time to create a really nice production. Uh, nice pictures, not rushed, you can check it with all your family, have lots of discussions about what looks good and what doesn't, make alterations and end up with perfect uh, order of service. So we, our customer here whose funeral is on the 26th is looking at collecting on the 24th or 25th. This period here would be the collection or delivery point at which they're getting ready for their funeral. They certainly don't want to be collecting their order of service on the morning of the funeral. Too many things to organise. So we want to be this period here for collection or delivery and that gives us a couple of days this week uh, to uh, produce the order of service and of course the previous week for organising the artwork and you've got the weekends for chatting with your siblings or family members to decide yes this looks perfect. So I would say the 
start of the week before, around about the 15th and 16th. That's a nice comfortable amount of time to be able to be producing your order of service. Don't worry if you haven't got that much time. I mean, we've had people come to us on the 25th, <laughs> on this example, and said to us that they need it next day. They've left everything for the last minute, their heads in a spin. Can they help us? And yes, we have. So it's not, not a lost cause, don't worry. But obviously, a rushed one isn't as good as a well-planned out one. So let's try and give our loved one the best we can. So to summarize, 15th or 16th, that's the beginning of the week before. All this week to gather photos, think about eulogies, wordings, poems, weekend to perhaps proof it and have a look at it with your siblings. And then the following week, which is doing some more alterations or last minute edits if required, and then production around about here, and then delivery or of the final finished product would be around about here. And then you've got a nice relaxed period in which to um, get yourself ready for the funeral on the 26th. That's just an example of a good timeline. If you can give us more time, that's even better. But if you haven't got that amount of time, don't worry. We'll always work in around your time slot. So now let's talk about the printing process. We've been producing order of services for over 40 years. And so we really know how to bring the best out of the print quality for your service. Uh, we recommend a 350 gram silk for the outside cover and maybe even continue out on the way through, depending on how many pages you've got. If you've enjoyed this video and feel inspired, then let's make connections by using these contact details below and we can start the process of organising your order of service. Um, we're happy to help uh, anyone in the UK and if you're overseas, then by all means, still make contact with us because we are happy to do the design and send print-ready files to your local printer in whichever country you are. So, thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.